On to the part time splitters. This time we're doing some challenge mode shit. Some of all the ones of A, B, and C, I believe, or just one, two, and three of all their A's. So here's one A. It's the zombie one. You always play as Harry for this. And all we have to do is essentially kill as many zombies as possible. Now, of course, to do so, all we have to do is just keep beheading them. So, I have to get about a total of like 30 beheadings in order to get through this one. Now, this is the shortest one. Because you have a time limit that puts you into speeding through as quickly as possible. But it's sort of in the middle for this part of the old piece. So, 50 heads. We have two minutes to do so. So, it shouldn't be that hard, but it is. And while this is for the shortest of all of them, it's because of the time that we have. We only have 10 minutes to get through this. Not a whole lot of time, but we have to make do with what we got. So, you know, a lot of shit going on right now in order to get through this. Now, luckily, manual aim exists, so use that to your best efforts. There is armor there to help you out, by the way. If you want to get close and personal to the enemy, I would suggest that you uh, wear the armor. However, there'll be a time when you get attacked and you will die instantly because you are very weak in this mode and the enemy can one hit kill you sometimes. So, uh, all I can say is just keep your distance and keep firing at the head if you can. Sometimes you can and you will miss against the body instead. Because the gun, you know, it's a shotgun, so it goes over the place. Just keep aiming with manual aim and shooting and doing your best with that and keep fucking moving because you don't, the zombie will come up from behind you and smack you in the head. Yeah, see, the armor did not help me, so it's always when to kill. Just keep doing your best, keep shooting their heads, do it as fast as you can. Those two minutes are not as long as you think it is. Once you make it through and get them all down, you will win the first challenge of the game. Congratulations. There is no gold, silver, or platinum. You just have to beat the challenges and you move on forward. And our reward for doing this is... Hang on. Unloading an arcade bot set. That's it. You ought to get a bot set for like characters. You get more bots for like which are unlockable characters essentially for multiplayer, or you end up getting more challenges, which you already did with uh, Putrid uh, Punch, I believe. Now it's time for Mr. Big. Hey, I'm a busy man. I ain't got all day. Let's All right, get then. down to business, huh? Sure thing, dude. He's obviously supposed to be a soprano sort of joke character. And uh, Mr. Big wants to kill a hundred ducks. Now, the ducks also have weapons. But, here's the thing. They suck, you don't. The problem... They don't bring out a whole lot of these enemies, and they have to move around a lot, and you have to kill a hundred of them in five minutes. So, here's what I'm gonna tell you of this one. Do this as fast as you can, because this is the hardest one of the three we're going in this part. The reason it's the hardest is because you have to kill a lot of these fucking ducks in five minutes. And as you can see, they don't spawn a whole lot of them. As I'm already on 11, we have now wasted about over 30 seconds. That's 10 for 30 fucking seconds. And our goal is 100. Can you do the math? Count by numbers and 
time because uh, you know 30 seconds you can kill uh, three seconds times ten sure you can do the math there right that is a straight five minutes we have to do it in under five minutes and the problem with that is because of how slow these guys spawn you might end up going a bit over 30 seconds sometimes. Your goal in order to get through this, if you really want to get through this as fast as possible, is to get at least the 10 or more of each fucking 30 second limit. If you are over 30 seconds and you have not gotten 10 more kills, you're being slow and you need to hit on the fucking pace. And sometimes you'll be at that slow pace because the spawn of the enemies and how fast they spawn and how many do spawn and how many will be in your vicinity at the time because you'll always be like fucking hold up in certain areas a lot. You have, you have to keep fucking moving around and fighting them and all that. Now, there's a lot you gotta do here. A lot you gotta fucking worry about. So... Considering how big the area is, considering how slow the spawn is for enemies, considering how many you have to kill, and considering how much of a pain in the cock this is, trying to get a hundred kills within five minutes is harder than getting 50 headshots in two minutes. Because Every fucking enemy in the headshot one is in one room, they're all together, and all you have to do is just shoot them in the head. Not only that, but there's a lot more enemies spawning for you than there is here. Now, of course, what you're wondering about, you know, they get weapons, can they fuck your shit up and kill you? They can kill you. But like I said, they're weak as hell, so all his attempts at trying to kill you is completely for naught. It's just a waste of fucking time on their behalf to even try. Because at the end of the day, they can barely damage you. As you can see, we're already near the end of our time limit, and I already lost about maybe 20% health. Not even for really a quarter of my health is gone. Meanwhile, I can want to kill all of these guys. So, in damage, it's very easy. You can't die in this fucking mini game, in this challenge. The problem here is trying to kill a hundred of these guys within five minutes in this challenge. And all I can say is good luck. Just keep moving, keep shooting, keep searching. Get some luck going. That's all. And make sure to kill 10 fucking ducks each 30 seconds. If you can do that, you'll make a hundred and you'll beat the challenge. And in case you're wondering, the record is for how many you kill, not for how fast you are. This goes on until the time runs out, so as soon as you get 100, you can keep going for 101, 102. I believe the best you're going to get is maybe 105. If more than that, maybe 110. But I really doubt you get more than that, honestly. And now done of that, we now get 2B. So, there you go. Our reward for this is an arcade bot. So, another character to play as in the fucking multiplayer. So, 2B, Doc Duck Shoot. Do that later. We're now doing 10 Man Trial, 3A. And 10 Man Trial requires Rubberfish. There you go. All we have to do here is get a collectible and hold on to it for as long as possible. I believe it is two minutes total. This is the easiest one.
Now, of course, all the enemies will have grenade launchers, so... You'll die a lot. But there are health packs around. And all we have to do is hold on to this item for two minutes. That's it. That's how you'll win. And you have five minutes to do so. So, it's a regular sort of multiplayer deathmatch sort of game. Of sort of like catch the flag or whatever. Like, just hold on to the item and keep it hold for as long as possible. If an enemy has the item, kill that fucker and take it immediately. All the enemies will be aiming for you immediately if you have the item. Not only that, but either of us in the bag will start shooting at you, so be careful. And as you can see, I'm getting fucked with. But all I have to do is just hold on to it as best as I can. And the best way of doing it is to zigzag. Of course, when they get the fucking RPG out, that could be a problem. And you don't get that much ammo for your gun either. But again, when you got the fucking rocket launcher, you can basically kill them all in one hit too. So, it's all fair game here. So yeah, your main goal here is just to survive and have the bag. As long as you can do that, you'll be fine. So yeah, I get the uh, pick up right over there just in case. And I just keep shooting around this point. If I do get fucked a little bit, there's a health point right there. Just a little bit back. Keep my life for a little bit longer. Don't worry if you end up dying. Go back and keep going. All you have to do is do your best to stay alive for as long as possible. Actually, much easier than killing 100 ducks or getting 50 headshots. Because the AI can make this easy for you. In that all they will end up doing is they'll end up killing each other, which makes them drop the bag much quicker than you think, which lets you grab it immediately. Now, of course, they can kill you as much faster as that, but for the most part, all you have to do is just make sure you have a good shot on hand, shoot them down, and with that, survive. Zigzag movement will do you good. And the rocket launcher, you know, is the best weapon of choice here. It will instant kill these assholes. So, use that to your advantage. Now, of course, if you're really good, and I mean, if you're one of those fucking pro players of Time Splitters or Goldeneye or whatever, who are able to do, like, very advanced movements and can easily kill every enemy in, like, seconds and shit and speedruns the game and all that, you can basically get a record of, like, four minutes. Talk, like over four minutes of holding the bag. No fucking joke. There's a lot of movement in this, and it's honestly really easy to make it happen. So, if you're really good at the game, this is very easy to do as well, because all you have to do is have good movement and know what you're doing. Which... You know, I'm not great at this game, so that's not going to happen most of the time, but hey, it's still an easy challenge to deal with, so all I gotta do is not get fucked. And for two times, I don't get fucked for a good amount of time, even if I'm at very low health. And it's such a small area, really. Sure, it's a hallway, and it does have some length, but... The whole point of it is not so much in how long the lane is, but more in how long these people are going to really be fighting. Because when we get down to it, all they're going to be running around in is this hallway. They won't go anywhere else. So because of that, they always have it in the middle of the map, and because of that, it makes it easy to get the bag back. 
here. All I have to do is just get two minutes. And because we have two minutes, because I raced this talent right there, they can never win. And because they can never win, I always get first, and I always win the challenge. Ten Man Trial is the easiest one. They can only get 12 seconds at best. That is how bad the AI is here. They can only fuck you up the most. And that's not by much. So yeah, that is all of the A's done for 1, 2, and 3. So next time, we are going to be doing the B's of 1, 2, and 3. Putrid Punch Out, Duck Duck Shoot, and lastly, our last one we unlocked right there, Lobster Run. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time for that.